Here we are with the fourth part of this lab, and this is the big part. Not that it's going to take long, but it's going to be the most fun. Let's look at what we have so far. This is our front page, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and part six. So what we need to do now is create some styles to try and make this beautiful. I am going to close my assets folder and right click down here to create a new file which I will name styles.css and there it is begin my styling with a test so I'll type the selector of body my two curly brackets and the first thing I'm gonna say is background color colon red semicolon I'll save that and go back to my index doesn't look like anything's happened oh the reason is because I haven't linked my index to my style sheet so let's do that first remember the link goes in between the top head tags Please don't confuse the, this head tag, which is in the head portion of your HTML document, with this header tag, which is an HTML5 tag, and it goes between the body tags. So my CSS link goes here, and I don't know how many of you wrote it down from the slideshow and can look it up, but remember there's always the option of going to a new tab in your internet browser and doing a search on W3 schools for linking a style sheet. Now remember you've already learned inline styles. I don't think we have any on here but you've learned inline and you've learned internal styles which we did put right here between these two tags. But this time we're going to do external styles. So the question is how to link an external style sheet. And we'll just look it up. You can see these are the three kinds of styles you've learned. And this is the link that we want to use. Now we're not going to put in between the quote marks, we're not going to put mystyle.css because our document was named styles.css. However, we can copy this tag and paste it in. And as I said, we'll change this to say styles.css and you can see now it shows up. So now with that linked, let's go back and look at our there's the red background. I do not want a red background. That was just a test to make sure my style sheet was working. However, the first thing we will put on our body tag is a font family. Whoops. And I'm going to use the font called Verdana because it's uh, one of the easiest styles to read on the web. I'll save that and you can see my red background went away and my font is Verdana. So one thing I know I need to do is link this same style sheet to every page. There's page one. And I might um, zoom through this so that you don't have to watch me do, it, do them all. All right, that's done.